Uh, my grandma tells me about this one picture that I drew ages and ages and ages ago. I don't even know how old I was. Um, of like a rabbit and probably a horse, just because I've been drawing horses for a long time. And apparently there was like an entire story that went with this picture that I like told her on the phone. Although she has loved art her whole life, Henderson first got interested in ceramics after taking a course in high school. I like, when it comes to ceramics, I like the idea of making functional pottery. So things that, because I feel like there's an interaction that happens between the artist and the viewer with, with functional pottery, because as you're using, you know, that cup or whatever and you're, and you're drinking out of it, there's just this like communal thing of communication that I just really like that isn't necessarily, I mean, you have the visual side of it with um, like paintings and stuff, but then I like with, with ceramics how it can be really physical. Henderson understands the trials that can accompany being a professional artist, but she is determined to make it her career. I love working with my hands, so there's going to be something somewhere where I get to work with my hands, and clay is my favorite medium so far that I've found. I, I definitely have a, a dream of, in, in high school, for like our final words in senior year, I put like, making functional pottery for all. Because I just, again, like I really like the idea of um, functional pottery and that connection as an artist that you have with the viewer. But I definitely also um, think that art in schools is really important, so I'm definitely looking into being a teacher. I think there's so much to lose if the arts are lost. So I think it's a big deal that I try to learn as much as I can now and then I can maybe pass it down.